Hi guys, I got a workout for you. Um, it's our favorite Tabata. So put some music on. I'm gonna send you a little uh, picture along with it so you can see what the different exercises are. And you can do this with or without a chair, okay? And you can modify it to what you need. So it's eight different exercises and each one you work for 20 seconds and you recover for 10. You do that eight times. So you can make this be a 32 minute workout or if you wanna go through it again, go for it. You can do it all day long. What else are you doing? Ah, won't be long. But anyway, so let's take a look at what we've got. So the first thing, and excuse my workout attire, I just came down from my office upstairs and I wanted to get this posted today. So, so the first thing is high knees, high knees overhead. Just as safely and as quickly as you can do it. Second exercise is push-ups on the floor, on a fit ball, on the wall, on the chair. And oh, if you're forgetting how to do it on a chair, don't forget hands wide, legs wide, and you're pushing down like the chest right over those hands. Number three, rapid fire tap squats. We all love those. If you're not quite sure what those are, it's just a little bit of torture that we came up with. I think it was last summer and we just love it. So it's pretending that you're just sitting down on a chair real quick like a bunny. So you're sitting back, sitting back. But it's just like you're skiing. So you're sitting back into your heels and you're getting your butt behind you. So the reason we call it a chair tap is because what we do in a lot of my classes is I have everybody come down and tap the chair seat with their butt and they know that they've gotten low that way. So you wanna go as fast as you can on that. Um, number four, on this one you have four different crunches you're gonna do. First is a straight down crunch, right? Second is a crossover crunch. Third is an ankle crunch. And the fourth one is a slow pelvic tilt, elbow to uh, hips and come up slow. So you'll do two of each one of those. So you'll do your straight down for 20, rest 10, cross to knee, 20, rest 10, cross to ankle, rest 10, slow pelvic tilt, 20 seconds, rest 10, and then you'll go right down to them again, okay? So then you're gonna go get something weighted. I don't care if it's a can of corn, uh, your dog, your kids, uh, the trash you haven't taken out, whatever you got, go find something that's weighted. Um, and you wanna do a shoulder press overhead, and remember the way I want you to do this is with elbows in, and let, let rest your kids on your shoulders or whatever you're using. And your, your first 20 seconds is singles, and your second 20 seconds is straight up and down, okay? Because you're really getting in here. Don't clench your hands, just keep your face happy. Uh, number six, use that weighted object, your kid, dog, whatever it is, and we're gonna do swing throughs. And remember when you come down to swing throughs, please keep your chest up, sit back into your heels, get off of those knees. Come on, we gotta keep those knees happy and healthy, guys. Um, and then goblet squats, here's your dog, Sit down, press up. Sit down, press up, okay? So on this one, you alternate between, you do your swing throughs for 20 seconds, recover 10, and then do your goblet squats, 20 and 10. Um, next is a chance for you to get it out, okay? So if you don't have a, a, a battle rope at home, which you probably don't, but if you do, you find it, and you're gonna go, and you're gonna just pretend you're using a battle rope, and you're gonna go, ah, and you're gonna get it. Out of you. So go ahead and yell. Get it out of you. Don't be afraid. Let it out. Nobody's going to hear you because everybody will hear you. Ha! Um, and last, you're going to do one burpee, one mountain climber. Burpee for 20 seconds, recover 10, mountain climber. And remember, if you're using your chair, keep your body over the chair. Um, when we do burpees, it's right leg back, left leg back. You can hop or just reach up. And then on your mountain climbers, just your foot behind you, keep that heel up. As you can see over to the side, it again reminds you, do each step eight times for 20 seconds and rest, 20, uh, rest 10 seconds. So it's gonna be four minutes on each one. That totals up to 32 minutes. That's a great workout, put some music on. I can bet you dollars to donuts you're gonna feel like a million bucks after you do it. And if it's a little bit, well, not so hard for you, then step it up. 
brother, go ahead, do whatever you gotta do, step it up. If it's too much for you, then only cut it, cut it in half. But at least do a little something. Let's get through this week. We're gonna do it, we gotta, I'm counting on you. You gotta count on me, we're counting on you guys. We gotta get this place up and running as soon as we can, so do your best. Um, I'm here all week at the gym. Call me, email me if you need something. I'm right here, I'm ready to talk. So I'll post a picture of this. Uh, hopefully I can get another workout up tomorrow. I'm, I'm shooting to do a chair gentle yoga class tomorrow if I can. So if I can't, I'll get it out to you Wednesday. Thank you. See ya. Love y'all.